Hey YouTube, this is Matt, Maple Mountain Fireplace. Hey, we're back. And we are putting in a freestanding gas stove. This is the Madrona by Valor. And I've taken out my old wood burning stove. I left the chimney just in case, like zombie apocalypse, I can put my wood burner back in. So here we have it. Gas stove, I took out the hearth. We've got new flooring in here, and I've got it all set up. Got a little mark on the wall. So that is the center of the pipe. I actually raised it about an inch to give me a little more, a little bit better flow. So an inch from center, and you can see we're definitely between the studs. I've got an outlet to the left and the phone to the right, so I know that we are right between the studs here as well. So this is gonna work out perfect. We got plenty of clearance. So the clearance on this corner to combustible is zero. So no worry about my curtains. And the floor is fine. Everything's marked and laid out and ready to go. So we're gonna cut some holes and we're gonna run a gas line and I'm gonna show you the whole process. Hey, we're back really quick. So let me just show you the next step. What we did here, we used our wall thimble. After we got our center mark, marked the drywall, cut it out, and I actually used this handsaw for a very good reason. We've got our receptacle right here and I knew there was a wire somewhere and it was really, really close. So we got just enough slack in the wire. I stretched it out a little bit, tucked it under there. If I would have used my power saw, I probably would have cut my wire and that wouldn't have been a good thing. So if you got wire close, use the hand tool, go really slow and you can make a nice clean hole. So see my center mark? are going through to the outside same thing use the wall thimble mark the outside and then we will be careful to not come close to our wire and cut the outside hey we're back I'm on the outside here I've already marked my hole I've already cut the vinyl I'm using a four inch grinder with an abrasive blade that slices right through the vinyl without breaking it. And now I've got my Sawzall just to cut through the OSB. So I've got vinyl siding and OSB. If you've got stucco, you can also use the grinder and a diamond blade or maybe a, a masonry blade. But here it is, I'm gonna cut this hole, put the, uh, what you call it thing, the, oh man, <laughs> anyhow, the flashing for the wall, there it is, and my cap, I'm required on this stove to use a snorkel wall termination. So there that is, and we're gonna hopefully get this thing finished up. All right, we got the wall thimble on, and I put the metal tape on around the edges, high temp silicone, and trim ring. So get that level, and pipe goes on. And that'll match right up to pipe on the stove and the gas line I've got it hooked up we're under the floor about 30 feet so what I'm doing here is just bleeding all of the air out of the gas line that ought to do it so when we come back we'll have it hooked up and fire going 
and we're back one last time. Hey, here it is, our Valor Madrona freestanding gas stove, direct vent, burning, looking good. Just show you real quick, we've got gas line, venting through the wall, and we've had it running for about an hour. We took it from 68 degrees to 72 degrees in about an hour and ceiling fan rather than a blower. Um, we're getting a lot of convection, a lot of hot air coming off the top and of course hot air rises in our very tall vaulted ceiling. The fans on reverse and bringing that hot air back down. But here it is. I love this stove. It's great. It comes with the remote control thermostat. A lot of nice features on it. So there it is. Thanks for watching. And if you're going to attempt to install one of these yourself, read the directions. If you don't understand the directions, then get somebody to help you out who does. And be safe. Hey, thanks for watching. Give us a like and make a comment. We'll see you later.